इस ब्लूमबर्ग यू टीवी This is Talk Back. I'm Hindul Sen Gupta for the first time on the show, an Olympic star no less. Delighted to welcome on Talk Back, Abhinav Bindra. Abhinav Bindra, thanks very much indeed for being on the show. Thank you. Let me then ask you, the big question that people want to ask in this country is, you have an Abhinav Bindra. Most likely, you will not get an Abhinav Bindra for many, many years once again, and you had to wait for many years to get one. The reason for that is that the structure of sport in this country. is perhaps worse than it has ever been in its independent history there will be uh, we have tremendous amount of talent in india and uh, some of that talent will come come to the fore and uh, will win us medals i think uh, the most positive thing what has happened post the olympics uh, when i won gold there's been a huge change in the attitude of athletes uh, earlier on i mean i've been to, to three olympic games and you know i've interacted with so many athletes whenever we went to an olympic games it was just enough to be there and to win any medal was was just the biggest thing ever if you win a bronze it's unbelievable but now ever since beijing i mean i've interacted with so many athletes and now nobody talks about bronze and silver it's, everybody wants a gold medal and the gold many people as you correctly pointed out believe is not far away but is the superstructure is the infrastructure is the mental infrastructure of sport in this country apart from cricket really gearing up for gold see it's challenging i'm not saying we're going to win the amount of medals which we should be winning but how many should we be winning a country like india with a billion plus population if we had our uh, a, a, a sports program running if the olympic games were a priority like every other country puts them to be we should be winning about 50 medals at the olympics we have the talent there's no doubt about that but we absolutely do not have any structure at the grassroots level to identify that talent and to nurture that talent to take it from step to step by step so that they climb the ladder and from uh, go from a from a district champion to an olympic champion i think it requires tremendous amount of investment it requires tremendous amount of know how it requires infrastructure it requires backing your athletes and it requires um, Uh, a program where you have to be committed to and uh, results will not come instantly but you have to keep working you have to keep working it's a process sports a process um, sports a risky business i mean there's absolutely no guarantee for success but surely you can do all what you can to prepare for events to prepare your athletes to the best uh, of world standards and then give it a good shot let me ask you a blunt question then you were lucky You come from a prosperous family. Your father was able to give you all the facilities. You were able to build a, an international class shooting range within the confines of your home for you to nurture your talent. Ninety-nine point nine nine percent of athletes in this country do not have that wherewithal, and therefore they have to they have to look at you know organizations like the state government or the union government. or any other sort of club level facilities for them to nurture their talent that does not exist and since it doesn't exist apart from of course cricket we're not talking about cricket if it doesn't exist why are you optimistic well i'm certainly i was lucky to an extent um that was my luck <laughs> that was my destiny but yeah um certainly i'm optimistic because i see the talent i see the the hunger in the athletes and i see um the 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 really single minded devotion to 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 do well for the country and i see that passion and, and i do believe that that will come through uh presently the government of india is 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 supporting elite athletes they are they have uh, they've done more than they have they've ever done to support elite athletes so, but elite athletes are very few in number you have four or five six uh elite athletes who would be medal uh, potentials at london for example and those four or five uh, out of the four or five or 10 athletes who who are your who are your stars probably one or two will end up winning a medal uh, so i'm optimistic amongst that group but i'm really talking about a larger picture i'm talking about 
what really needs to be done. And what really needs to be done is, is focusing on our grassroots and focusing on, on the foundation of our grassroots. Let me ask you then, uh, for the longest time we were told in this country that this country doesn't have the money. We have other bigger issues. We have water and poverty and sanita sanitation and drinking water and so on and so forth. And those problems remain today. But for the first time, perhaps in independent India, money clearly is not the problem. Money is not the problem. We have the money clearly. We clearly have the infrastructure in the sense that we know how to build it. So we have world-class companies who can build the infrastructure. That's not a problem. We clearly have the business acumen as proved by the IPL. We know what to do with sport. It's not like we don't know how to sort of create value out of sport. And as you're pointing out, we have the talent. What then is missing? Well, creating a business out of a sport, uh, for example, I, the IPL is a bad example because an IPL was created out of a sport which was already successful, which was, uh, um, it's always going to be harder to, uh, to, to get other sports to that level, which are not so visible sports. But I really think uh, we, you, you're absolutely right in saying that we have, there's no uh, problem about money. I think we have, we, we have a good sports budget. Sports budget, I'm sure, will increase over the years. What we really need is focus. What we really need is, um, is a plan. And what we really need is the athletes coming first. I think the, the real goal of uh, the sports policy should be how do we produce 20 medals at the 2016 Games, for, for example, or the 2020 Games, and really have a project running to identify that talent, identify that talent right now, and nurture that talent, back that talent for eight to ten years and give it a shot. Decisions linked to performance in sport needs to be, need to be taken by experts. Experts who have enough knowledge in, the, in that respective field to make decisions on careers of athletes. Right now what is happening is people who are making decisions have never stepped onto a sports field.